That's why. Okay. Yeah. Because again, Anthony messed with it. There you go. Are we back? Can you hear us? It says that I've got sound. Do sound, we have sound? Sound, sound, oh, sound. Oh, wait. Yes, I just turned my volume up. I didn't no know Keto, keto Child did let us sound. Yes. Yes, yes okay. we got sound now. Hello. How is everybody doing? I'm Ra Joe. I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. And we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Am I so glad we did not have sound when we first came on? Oh, because your boobs got... Okay. You, well, you can't say what I was saying. Because I didn't have the two-minute warning. Say hello to everybody. I got to grab something. All right. Hi, everybody. How is it going today? Yeah, I was like, there was no... We're going live. There was just like, oh, you're on. And I'm like, I got to check and make sure. Like, are, am I going in the same di right direction? Like, what's happening up here? Right family says first, how are you doing, right family? How was the the baby doctor appointment? Shanta says hello, hello, ready to chat with everyone. Trucker Cat says hello, family. I'm currently in Chicago. My semi broke down, so at the shop till morning. I'm glad to be at the live feed. One of the highlights of my week. Wish they would do more. Oh wow, Trucker, thank you so much. And I am so sorry about your rig. That is so frustrating to just spend the whole day waiting for that to get fixed. Heath is here, he says, good evening, everyone. Lori says, good evening. Okay, so I have to give Lori a shout out. That was the first person that I saw. We had recently done a video, it was just yesterday, about having an accountability partner, finding mm -hmm. accountability partner. And of course, we know the nicest people on earth, the most encouraging people are the people- These don't fit, but I'm gonna wear them anyway. In the Facebook family group. And so I said, hey, if, if any of you guys are willing to be somebody else's accountability part there, partner that may be too nervous to say like, hey, I could really use somebody, just put out a welcome mat. Like right. put a picture of a welcome mat down so that people know it's safe to you know come to you. You don't mind them approaching you. Lori was the first one out, girl. She like had that welcome Matt out like welcome don't worry about it I'd love to chat with you and I just love it awesome. I love you guys okay. so awesome um let's do, let's let's get some we'll stuff get it out get it out because Joe I know will not, you have something to talk about Joe so. will not be able to focus just a reminder link down below their sale on not just the keto cookies for perfect keto but like they're having that like the, the launch sale but it's like 10 percent off of one item 20 percent off of two three percent off of three these are good still links peanut down butter. below i'm sorry um it was still peanut butter for me there's still some of these available okay this i cannot believe i cannot i can't believe, believe i don't know how many they made but there are still some Tara, I don't know if Tara Simpson's in here yet, but I saw on Facebook, like she was telling Christy Davis, like, so I, I still call her Sofa King Keto. I know. I'm sorry, I, I'm Christy. I'm sorry, Christy, but like, I know it's the Keto Village, but I, I just- Sofa King Keto, you're baby. You're Sofa King Keto to me. Forever. So, um, yeah, this is the best flavor. That is, it rocks. So I've got like a box of them, 28. Did Tara and I've try got, them yet? Yeah. She uh, said it's her new favorite flavor. Yeah. It, they're it's really that good. good. So they're still available. The link is down below. I'm shocked. And- we have to do the giveaway. You want to yes. do it now or are we waiting till later? No, give everybody some time. So if, some if, time. if you want to get a shot at oh, well, the Keto Crate giveaway, yep. go to that video. We'll and do it later on. Put like balls or some comment in. But I just got an email from Keto Crate. If you're thinking about doing a Keto Crate, if you use our link, you're going to get buy one, get one free for the next so, couple of days. So, so instead of somebody, saving $10 off of your first box, they're going to give you a free box. So it's nice to, deal. to give somebody else a present. This yeah. is the time, right? Where you're like, I don't know what to get people. I got something in the mail. Now, I heard you say Truck and Cat said she wants to do more lives. Yes. We might be able to do some lives now when we go camping because I bought a cell phone signal booster. This is completely 
in response to when we got to Mayaka State Park. We had no. No cell phone service at all. We literally had to go to the outpost to call my mom to say we well, arrived alive. Fortunately, we actually, because YouTube and we want to try to have internet to upload videos and stuff like that, um, we have our cell phone service, T-Mobile, no service. We have Cricket for like a hotspot, no service. None. And then we have a Verizon hotspot, a little bit of service, like spotty in and out. Enough Maybe. to watch a little bit of TV, but then it would go in and out. So yeah. yeah, hopefully that will boost us up. But I do have some good news for Trucker Cat. Okay. So first of all, for our Patreons, we're gonna be doing a live stream this Sunday for Patreons only, doesn't matter what level you are. We're gonna do it at 6 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time, Standard and time. we're gonna send out a link in Patreon for that. Okay. So that's but for no matter what level, 6 p.m. We're gonna start off with once a month, but we'll probably throw some extra ones in there as well. Uh, but we want to commit to one because we we don't want to overcommit to you guys. But let's and, get in there. But let's do that. Let's do it. But also, we were supposed to go camping again at Mayaka this Monday, but with you know Hurricane, Hurricane. Ida and like. Like, I'm still not even done cutting for the week. Like, I'm still on Wednesday schedule and tomorrow's Friday because of right. all the rain and stuff. So we canceled next week. But that means Keto Camping Fear Factor doesn't happen. And we've got, like, a box of stuff over there. We can't afford to take a section off. No. So we're going to do Fear Factor live next week. Yes, we are. That's going to be an interesting one. So I don't know what they were gonna do. There's yet. no way you can bleep out if I say something terrible. We cannot edit it out. Yeah. What? You're you're putting this mouth in the live, and I'm eating stuff that Not I can't. Good. Okay. So why don't you you wanted to say? No, something. I want to say hi to everybody. You want first. to say hi to? So yes. where are you at? So trucker. Right at uh, Lori. Right up at the top. Wow, that's yes. a lot. I know. I okay. got behind. I had selfish reasons for doing it. I want more friends. There you go. Oh, aw, I love that. That is a great reason. Why is that thing going off? It's dinging. I don't see Chris Bear, so it's okay. Yeah. Like, if I see Chris, his name pop up, I know, like, we've probably lost internet because you're awesome, Chris, and you just let us know, like, no internet. Oh, it, it, it's it's a group text message. Group text group messages. Group text messages, the bane of my existence. Who, who's a fan? Who's a fan? The worst part of group text messages is that there's not always a new message. Sometimes people are just hurting things. I don't even know how things, to leave group text laughing messages. Laughing at things. Please stop okay. with the group text messages. We're going to get kicked out of it. Okay. Okay. You're Go out. <laughs> we're out. I can't. Okay. And it doesn't even matter if it's family. It does. <laughs> like, we're done. I, ha I have to disconnect. Steph said you all have something for fam Fear Factor camping arriving tomorrow. I've never had it. All I can say is I'm sorry, Rachel. Oh, my wow. gosh. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Steph. Steph. So much. Thank you. Oh, my gracious. I'm getting nervous now. Christopher said, of course, there's still maple pecan bricks available. They put cinnamon in them. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I When we saw that, we were like disappointed for you. I was I was actually saddened the moment we saw the snickerdoodle. When we saw the snickerdoodle keto cookies, and I'm like, I don't know if Christopher would like them or not, but the fact that they have cinnamon in them means it's a no-go for him, and that makes me upset. Yeah. Stacy said, had some sm hot s'mores keto chow with a little bit of chocolate keto chow today. So Ooh, good. Ooh, we I have not have, done it hot. Well, we don't have any left. We had the two. We did, haven't ordered any. I need, need to, to. I need to place an order tomorrow. I got to order pistachio because I have like one package the of pistachio. The pistachio is the presser. I need to get some lemon meringue because I have like two packages of lemon meringue and I'm this close to a lemon meringue This pie. close. So I am. I don't have, but I need a big bag of that. I need a big bag of that, and I realized that I'm out of chocolate peanut butter. Like that's that's like stop the presses. I love. So and we gotta order some s'mores because we don't have any s'mores. I love when he's working on a recipe though, and I am part of the discard pile. Right. Because it's got to go somewhere. I mean, we'd hate to waste the keto chow. So you know. I'll eat it. I'll take one for the team. That's that's how I am. Yeah, we can't even use the package we have because that's like the package for photos. Like it's a little individual, like single serving. Pretty, and like I need that. So uh, he said that's the deal. We used to buy the bars that caused my recent flare up. Yeah, if you I'm find so something sorry. that like does not work with you, boom, 
out. I'm not taking a chance. Mimi said the 30 day supply is sold out, got the 14 day Um, He never had the 30 day supply up, but there's no discount for a 30 day supply. So don't feel bad. I did the same thing. I ordered two 14 day supplies. There's no discount for the 30 day supply. Oh. It's just basically two 14 days. So when they went live on Sunday, he didn't have the 30 day available. You just had to order two 14 day supplies. I didn't worry about ordering because I knew he'd be sitting there like- Oh, I, I almost missed it. Tongue out like that. Speaking of it hung out, so I was trying of to- Speaking tongue out. Today the PlayStation 5 came out, which I actually want one even though I have no time to play video games. I, I miss playing video games, but yes. I, I'm like, I'm determined to get back into it. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. It came out today. And it was Walmart was gonna have them at 12 noon. So I get on there and I've got a Safari browser going and I've got a Chrome browser going. Which one's better? It just depends. I'm just like everywhere I can possibly keep hitting refresh, 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 refresh. Because Caleb wants one. So I get one, it's in my cart, and then I it shows up in the Chrome cart too. So I'm like, I got one in each cart. So I was also in the midst of helping Anthony order a computer because he got a job and he needed to order a new computer. And so I tell Anthony, run to Caleb and say, do you want one? Because I right now have one in each card. I can actually order two, even though it's a limit of one, but I'm in two different things. We can use like Rachel's Walmart account. So he's like, land. yes. Like he's like, he's like, can you pay for half for Christmas? I'm like, I think that's great. Because like, what do you get a 21 year old for Christmas? A 20 year old for Christmas? Well, it's this very is difficult. The whole family, you've got like 25 people going, I'll give $10 towards this. And right. like, we could get some big present. I hate the fact that they would get a present early. Like Anthony's getting his Christmas present now. Cause he's like, can you contribute towards to, my computer? I'm and like, I hate that because- But I feel good because at least they're getting something they want. Yeah. They're just getting, they're older. They're not getting it on Christmas It's so now. sad though. They're getting um, empty wrapped gift That's boxes. Good. So anyway, I get them in there. I go to hit pay. Walmart's site crashes. Boom. Five minutes later, it comes back up and I get a message. We're sorry. What you were ordering is no longer available. Somebody took it out of your cart. Just like you're like shopping for real and somebody could snatch that Cabbage Patch but doll it, right it out of your cart. But it really reminded me of Keto Brick years ago where you had to sit there and go refresh, refresh, refresh. So, but yeah, I can't believe there's still some it's, it's past the 14th, right? I'm anxious to see, did anybody go into a Walmart? It's not past the 14th, it's the 12th. Oh, wow. Is anybody- Are you, are you already blonde? I'm, to, I'm totally- I am totally like out of dates for this entire year. 2020, this could be December 47th and I would not know it. Chris said this is the dates. newer version of the cell booster. So that was a funny thing. Is anybody going into Walmart for the Blackstone? The Blackstone. That's, That's what I want to know. on Saturday. Yeah. So yeah, I actually, we got the new version. We got the version. It was delivered yesterday and then I was on YouTube and there's this site we follow called... Um, it? I forget really what helpful. it is. It's a really helpful thing. If you do if a mobile, it's like the mobile internet, re, internet resource center. Mobile and internet resource center. Yes. And Sounds so like she had a thing up this for. brand new one was released yesterday and it would just been delivered from, you know, uh, Amazon. So I called the company. I'm like, is there a big difference? And they're like, there's a huge difference. I'm like, it's the same price. And they said, if I were you, I would return the one to Amazon and we can send you a new one and you'll get it tomorrow. So I was like, deal, because it's the same price. So why not get the newest technology today? It's just, it's fun. I don't know why you couldn't just like, I don't know, send a follow up, be like, I know you're buying this, but there's something like that's gonna be the exact same price. Well, I ordered it on that's... Amazon and nobody knew this was coming out. They're like Apple. Like Apple just released their new computers. Nobody knew they were coming. Nobody. <laughs> I, is this is this like that's the way is it. that a good plan? I don't know if it's a it's good plan. smart. Um, okay, so Jason said he needs to get a monitor. Oh, a new monitor for for like your computer. Yep. Is there any good monitor deals? I haven't looked yet. I feel like Costco was teasing something. Okay, so everything just jumped. You're gonna. Why don't you? Oh, so there, oh, Chris's thing is there. Claire said, "Does the chocolate malt keto brick have any sweetness to it normally?" Uh -huh. I've had three of them that seem super bitter, similar to baking chocolate. Not sure if it's the batch I got. It must have been the they're batch. They're not super sweet. I mean, if that's what, if you're but looking for a bitter. candy bar, they're not, 
Now, if you're melting them down, I don't know if you're melting them down. To make pucks. But if you are melting them down, you have to constantly stir them, especially because as you're pouring them, because otherwise the salt kind of sits to the bottom and you're going to get some that are really bitter and salty a and salt some bomb. that aren't. So yeah. make sure, like that had not happened to me. I had a couple of peanut butter ones in the camper and I forgot to take them out in between trips. And the peanut butter ones especially melt easier. Right. And I went to eat one on our last camping trip and it had like smushed. And as I took a bit into it, I'm like, ooh, this tastes nasty. And it was just because like all the salt had gone to like one section of it while it was melted. But the chocolate malt shouldn't be bitter though. That was That is one that I felt like... It was a sweeter one. So, yeah. Yeah, but it, again... Check if you're melting it. And message that's, them. That's if, my if first If it's not, question. I would message Robert because yeah. it shouldn't be bitter. They'll make it right. Yeah. Uh, Christopher said, speaking of Fear Factor, I have something on the way to you that you should get tomorrow. I don't think you're going to eat it. We have oh, to eat it. What, I mean... It's like a double dare. I know that that pole is frozen and I have to stick my tongue to it. Like, I just gotta, right? It's like a Christmas story. Yeah. Miriam said, I hate group texts. It's nice to get everyone the information, but when they go on forever, it is awful. It is way past forever. And then Stacy loves group text messages. She said, you can mute them if you're trying to sleep. My mom and sister are always sharing memes in ours. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like, ugh, I there's two people in my family. No, no names will be mentioned, but they will have conversations about like meeting each other for an appointment or lunch or something like that, that none of the rest of us are a part of, but like we're in that group text. And I'm like, do I need to know that like you're dropping you off to Jiffy Lube today? I'm not a part right. of this. Karen said, uh, hi, I finally made it for a live. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay. Not feeling well. I um, love your hair, Rachel. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks, Karen. And okay. There you go. There you go. This is exact. I wanted to first talk and say thank you. Thank you so much for the encouragement that you guys have given because me. Because I'm not any help. I know. Well, because I feel like it. it's like when somebody else says to Caleb or Anthony, you look nice today. And I'm like, and they get all excited about that. And, and I say, well, I've said you look nice today. And they're like, yeah, but you're my mom. Like you're legally required to tell me I'm a handsome boy. So she comes home. Well, I mean, and she comes and she goes, what do you think? I'm like, I love it. I don't know if you really want to believe me. Let me go ask Caleb. I'm like, why does it matter what Caleb thinks? I'm the one who you're married to. I don't care. It shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's what I think. So then she says to me before the live stream, does my hair look okay? So I finally jumped Does it matter? Like, Would it matter if I said it? <laughs> if you know what's good for Plus, you. Plus, what if I say no? Are you going to redo your entire thing? So no. like, what do you do? What do you do when your spouse says to you, how do I look? Do you tell them the truth? Or do you not tell them the truth? Because even if you tell them that you look good, a lot of times she'll, she goes and changes anyway. So it's, why are you even asking? It's like that Family Guy skit where it's like, men, we don't know what we did. Like, you don't know. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I got you off on a tangent. You know, this go is, ahead. This is part of getting to be married. You know, so like you get to play with boobs. All right. Like, so there you go. That's the trade off. Okay. I'm going to ask you how I look, we but then not. Streams. I'm not going to care what you say about it. But like your consolation prize for that is girls. Okay. So like, that's it. Will you stop now? All right. Go. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to go get back to my like really heartfelt thanks because I was freaking scared. I was worried. And it's been something that I've battled with for a really long time. And you guys made it safe for me. And um, I am. we talked about it being a transformation. I'm not going to cry on this. I'm just not. But I, I've always loved butterflies. I have a butterfly tattoo. I'm all about metamorphosis. I'm about change. You know, sometimes you have to make a change. This keto lifestyle was a huge change for us, but I'm all for it. But I was looking up um, when I was researching butterflies and I thought something that was fascinating was there is a cycle for how long that butterfly is supposed to stay in the cocoon. Mm. It's supposed to stay. It's turned into a butterfly. It's supposed to stay in the cocoon up to like 21 days. But if it senses that the environment on the outside of that cocoon is harsh. Like let's say there's a desert on the outside of that. They will stay transformed, but stuck inside of that cocoon for years, 
sometimes three years. And then when you look at the life cycle of a butterfly, three years is a long time to stay transformed yet stuck inside of that cocoon. So you made me have a safe space. You said the conditions outside are favorable. We're going to like you even if you are your real self and you have gray hair, come on out. And that was a cocoon leaving situation 27 years in the making because I was 17 when I went gray but it took me 27 years to come out of it because you guys let me know it was favorable and I feel like that is the goal of two crazy ketos I feel like it's the goal of our Facebook family group you prove that it it's every single day you do this you give the all clear for butterflies. People are changing their lives. They're making decisions about their health and they're asking around like, is it okay to come out and be me? Is it, is it all right? And you're saying it's okay to come out. Right. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for, for being that encouragement to let butterflies come out. I appreciate it. Uh, well, I don't know. How do I follow up that? Okay. I'm sorry. Lion Girl said beautiful hair, Rachel. One more shade lighter and you'll match Joe to the T. Yeah, right? I'm going for your beard. It's so funny because I thought it would I be... I want to turn my beard white and I can't figure it out. When the lady was like going through all the strands and clearing everything out, she's like, "It's you think it's all, all white, but it's not. Every person has a gray pattern mm -hmm. to their hair that's different. And yeah, so like we're just going to follow we did that pattern. Vlog it. We have we, we have that vlog coming out soon. I but thought that was interesting. There's going to be a couple of out-of-order vlogs because we do have a vlog from our camping trip, but it's a Two Crazy Ketos vlog, but then we have this one as it's well. It's funny, you're going to so see dark hair, light hair. You're going to see dark hair, dark... We have a couple of videos pre-filmed, so you're going to see some dark hair, light hair videos coming up yeah. soon. Um, let's see. Liz wants to know if Chalk Zero raises your insulin. Everybody is different, so it doesn't raise my insulin. First of all, let's not say insulin because we don't know what it does to your insulin. There's no way you can test your insulin at home. You're talking about glucose. It's different for everybody. Um, it doesn't raise mine at all. Uh, it doesn't really raise Rachel's at all. It's, it just depends. Like we've tested other things like smart sweets and yeah, that, you know, things where it like you actually saw, it's like this is a candy type thing and it actually spiked us. And if you do a spike, always double check yourself a couple times. And I don't even even, even like, I would, if you do something and it like raises it say 25, 30 points, I would do another test both then and then also maybe at another time as well. Because number one, those glucose meters aren't super accurate. It's amazing that they're not accurate when you consider people are actually injecting themselves with insulin and stuff based on them, but they're not. They have like up to a 20% margin of error. So you could have an, a glucose spike and not, it has nothing to do with the product. It could have to do with you had a stressful interaction. You got scared. You stood, uh, sat down and stood up too quickly. All of that can actually spike your glucose. So you kind of want to test yourself a couple times. Don't rely on just one test. Every single time I think about glucose testing though, I see Christy Davis from, from the Christy Davis channel, not, not the Keto Village one, but Christy Davis. Southern and, Christy. And I see Autumn testing their glucoses and there have been some tests they've done and their reaction is so Yeah, when you have like a 75 point jump, hilarious. good chance it's that product. Oh my gracious. Like they crack me up so much. I, I just love those girls. So uh, Chris said, I found a two week old keto chocolate keto chow that was in the back of the fridge that I had to pour it down the drain. It was sad. Oh, that is sad. See, I would drink it. Unless it was yes, made he with would. heavy cream. Yeah. I, I would drink it. I know he would. But then again, I don't have a stockpile of like keto chow of a warehouse. Like that is precious. That is pre well, you it's can't like fast. I get upset when like I just like a teaspoon of it goes from it, when you're putting it in the blender and it splashes out. Like that really upsets me. Like I've just wasted a portion of a serving. I'm I would like to publicly apologize for those times where I ask you to go ahead and swish my coffee around in the rest of the keto chow that's like the the drippings that's left in the blender and then he like he doesn't put the lid on quite secure enough and like a little bit splashes out and and man I, I turn into the mom from like mommy dearest like, or no wire hangers how many people no spilling the keto chow hands up how many people make keto chow and if you don't that's fine with butter mm -hmm. and you melt the butter in a glass pyrex like measuring thing and then when you have to fill up the water, 
The water goes into the glass Pyrex first to rinse out any residual butter because yes. I don't want to lose yes. that like eighth of a teaspoon that is coating the glass, right? You I, have to get it all. I do not mess with butter either. The saddest thing to me is when I don't, when I have to heat up butter and maybe you put it in like just a smidge too long and you didn't put like a paper towel or something over it and you get like a splash of butter and you're like, that's like beautiful butter that we've just lost. Like no one is enjoying that now. That makes me so sad. Chris said, I was about to say, when on earth are you going to play video games? Before you do that, you need to get some sleep or fly your drones. Yeah, no, it's for the kiddos. No, well, no, I want the new PlayStation. I, I never gonna I play was that. a huge, I just didn't like this year's Call of Duty either. It, it kind of said, but I mean, Rachel will tell you, I spent, ow, which, I've, I've owned every Call of Duty which game. Which ones do you like? Call of Duty is my basic. That's that's but the like, game that I would love. But don't. That's what I played ninety nine percent of the time. So what's the one where Caleb like zombies? The Call of Duty. Okay, so which ones do you like of the Call, Call of Duties? I like them all except for the last one. I, and the last I one was a, what? The last one was Modern Warfare. I, I didn't. It was like a remake, and I wasn't a big fan of it. And then we got really busy, and COVID hit, and. Yeah. Like, ended up with more video editing for You don't church. have a favorite? Because don't they go into different times? Like, Caleb really likes the zombies. Well, yeah, all of the Black Ops ones. Like, Black Ops 2 is probably the best one. Nobody cares about this. Anybody play but, Call of Duty out there? Yeah, so, but I, I mean, I was, if you ever played, like, I was, like, Master Prestige within 30 days of the game coming out every year. Like, that's how much I played. But, he expects me to treat him differently when he master prestiges too. Like all of the boys do. They're like, Master Prestige Mom, like I'm, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to like get a you know better cut of meat from from I, I can't be bothered to like mow the lawn right now. I just master prestige, okay? <laughs> Can't be bothered with this. Yeah. Uh, so Chris Bruce said, I have a lemon meringue keto chow I forgot about in my back fridge a few weeks ago. It's going to have to be poured out too. It, 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 it hurts your feelings. Well, this is really in the grocery store. So last night I, I made know. eggs on my Blackstone. Okay. And I had taken out of the refrigerator because I had just a little bit of Chef Chamois butter left in the fridge outside. Chef Chamois butter is so it. good. Well, I took the hiding container it. out and the container was sitting on the table out there and I put a spoon of it on to cook my eggs and I left it out there overnight when I made my eggs tonight you used I it? used that Ew. butter it's salted Ew. butter it doesn't have to be well that's good because the container is half full so that's all you now babe. I know you won't touch it I'm not I need a cootie shot just sitting next to you now Right family said, I sent a group text to tell people we weren't getting to have a baby shower. It was good until someone answered a question meant for me. Oh, you mean like what, what question? Or, oh, you mean like they had a question about it? I thought maybe were, they were like putting on there what they were getting you and then like spoiling the surprise. Linda said, I had TVs in my cart at Walmart and checked out only to see they were sold out. Yeah, it gets very frightening. To me, it's like... If I put it in my cart, it should stay there for like 15 minutes, right? There should be a time limit where it, this is reserved for you for some, a time limit. Some Especially when you're logged websites, into your account. Some websites do that. So, some do. So I... Okay. Reserve America does that when you order a... When you get a campground. I have 15 minutes to book my site. I forgot what the magazine used to be called, but it was like LTD Commodities. And it's just like cheap, cute stuff. Basically things that you would find at Kirkland's or Home Goods. And it's a magazine that comes out and it's like, you know, $3.99 for, you know, a paper towel holder that's like super cute and, and, and homey. You could put that in the next... the. Two years later, you go in there and you're like, I'm going to look at this website again. And what I had placed in the cart is in the cart right. still on that website. Doesn't matter how long I've been gone. Yeah, you know, but it's not sold out. Some websites, when you order something, well, it reserves it for like, so when you go on, I put it in my cart, say, think, especially now like Black Friday, and you have five minutes to check out. So it stays there so that you can get through the checkout process. Other websites like Walmart, it's if they can get through the checkout process faster than you, they get it. Supermarket sweep. So it really, to me, it's I mean, once I put that in my cart, it's it should mine. be mine for X amount of time. And if I have, if my credit card gets declined three times, okay, I lost it. Yeah. But when you have a situation like this, I should have been able to 
can get they it. can they put like the rules of game Black Friday? Like can they can they put that at the front? Like here's the deal. You've got all this stuff. We have good deals, but everybody wants them too. So you get three credit card attempts oh, wait in a 15 second. minutes. Matreya just said they're doing another stock release at 9 p.m. Matreya, like, you know I'm going to have to get off now, right? Oh, it's no. Yeah, it's 8.58. No, you're no. Don't don't. <laughs> Caleb, go get on Walmart. <laughs> he he went out with Anthony to physical Walmart where things are not on sale. <laughs> you have to buy them online. We're in a catch twenty two here. See, yep. See, I'm not the only one. Selmore said everyone had an issue with rejecting payments and then out of stock. That's exactly what happened to me. It rejected my payment. Or it didn't even reject. It said we have a problem with the processing. Can I just and throw then out? Can I just throw throw an extra thing into this? What if they never had any of these products and it was all, everyone got this message and no one's getting anything super cheap? Christopher wrote, I found a URL for the new that? Keto Brick eight minutes before it went on sale and every option was available. I wasn't getting this one, but that's what I always want to do. Order early. I sent the link to my brother. Yeah. Because you always just want to be prepared. Be prepared. He said, we told your family a few years ago that we are no longer buying gifts. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, I know. We've definitely cut back. Like we do the kids, the, we do Rachel's mom, her brother, yeah. her, our sister-in-law. I know a lot of families, especially families that have like big families that um, will do like a secret Santa. Yeah. So like everybody's name is in the, is in the thing and then you, you take one name out. Now I have a, a friend of mine who is in her 40s. And she is not married and she does not have children. And her family was like, you know what? We need to cut back on gifts and, and all this kind of stuff. And she was like, no, I, no, I am going to school plays and I'm going to football games and I'm doing all of the, I'm helping with kid birthday parties. I have been, I have been a bridesmaid a million times, but this is it. Like Christmas is the only time where I get something from somebody. So no, we're not cutting back on Christmas presents. He said my gift is that I'm we in save on this. money now. Well, Joe's birthday is December 6th. My brother's birthday is December so we just 7th. Don't do gifts. They will call each other and say, like, hey, what did you get me? And what did I get yeah, you? Yeah, go buy yourself something. You it's buy from May. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy something from you. Uh, Steph said Hillary just saw your hair. She really likes it. Thank you so much. Uh, Trucker Cat said, My mom and sis have been doing keto and I introduced them to keto chow. I just had four ba large bags of keto chow. Thank goodness I love that. Wow, that's love. My mom went from 400 to 224 in under 24 hours. My, her blood sugar. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That That's is awesome. huge. That, that is, is awesome. awesome. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Mary Jo said, I actually did get my stungs tucked to a pole when I was a kid. Hopefully, I'm smarter in my old age. I'm definitely not smarter. Oh, I want to be smarter. I should be smarter. But I'm going to stick my, my, I'm going to stick my tongue on it. I'm just going to. Uh, Linda said, Keto Crate only has 25% off. Not seeing buy one, get one free. I will check in a minute because they sent me a thing saying we don't change any links or anything like that. So if I have to go change the link, I will. Yeah. Uh, Chris said, I like all those people doing group texts and just create a Slack workspace for their family so people can follow channels if they want. Yeah. Claire said, I like black coffee. I feel like if the chocolate malt seems bitter to me, it's probably bitter. Uh, wasn't eating it out of the package since we had uh, IT downtime today. So um, by the time we had it resolved. Okay. Good. He, he says, said, I saw a meme said earlier, I've never been held hostage, but I imagine it's a lot like being in a group text. It can be brutal. And especially like I, I am in one group text that has, that's reoccurring, that has 19 people in it. 19 people. I can't stand it. So it's like, always it's always dinging at and, all times of the night because you've got morning people in it you've got evening people in it so like yeah and i will turn my phone off but i've got adult kids i need to be able to hear if the phone rings because maybe they're stranded and somewhere. what's even more annoying is even if i mute it you get that stupid little red number on there that says 76 and i can't Stand that thing. That little thing that just lights up the, your whole screen. So yeah. you have like, what is the last one I picked up your phone? It's like, you have 487 unread emails. How do you deal with that number sitting there? I can't deal with it. Well, and the and they multiply really quickly. So like I've looked down and thought, okay, I missed a message. You look down 46. Four, 
46 text messages. Then the worst is there's one buried somewhere. Is someone somewhere. dead? Like, how, what are we talking about? That's like 46. And they're like, the line at Publix. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Or did we just send 46 messages about the line at Publix? Probably. Heart, like... Sad face, everything. Chris said, Joe, your hair is beautiful. It's good to see you got all the gold paint out of your Aww. hair. Okay, I'm gonna go check the keto crate thing on the other computer because that's bothering me now. And oh like, Lord, here we go. So I'm gonna let you handle messages. All right, so let's see. Shauna says, yay, you made it home. Uh, right family says, Mary Jo Coppola, if you think the tongue is bad, imagine the dog on Joe Dirt. Yes, yes. Speaking about trees, OMG, I was able to order outfit from Dolt's kill made me feel great. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Loving the hair, Rachel. Thank you, Shauna. And oh my goodness, how funny. I My friend called me because Shauna had posted a video in our Facebook family group that is super hilarious um, of this little boy in a turkey. And it happened to be the the nephew of somebody else in our Facebook family group. So it was just like, what a small world, right? That is, that is so hilarious. Janice is here. Hi, Janice. Um, Chris says you can use a blender. I have uh, to bring heavy cream and bottles to work tomorrow to test three newly arrived batches of keto chow, strawberry, chocolate, toffee, and chocolate. Sometimes it's good to be Chris Baird. That is a good aspect of your job. And I, I love the quality control there because they are making sure that not just like, okay, something new is good, but like, did this new batch of our old and trusted favorite, like does chocolate toffee taste every single time the same way? Like when it gets to Rachel's door, will it taste like chocolate toffee? That is important, right? Um, Steph says, uh, have a good night, Janice. Lisa says, have a good night. Oh, Janice must be going night night. Okay, so Matreya says, my wife, uh, I thought you were on a keto live stream. Slightly suspicious tone, Rachel getting me in trouble. I am so sorry. I am very sorry for getting you in, in trouble. <laughs> Dang, Rachel, you're going to make me need tissues. Well, Trucker Cat, you guys, oh my goodness. Like, you touched me so much. Like, you totally blessed my life, really. Sparkling Susan says, I joined the Facebook family today, and it's truly amazing to be a part of something so special. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining. We're excited that you're here. And please, like, don't be timid. Don't be shy. You've got something funny to share. You've got a question. You have a concern. Like, please go ahead and share it, whether you've been on keto day one or this is day 1001. We're excited that you're here. And we're just a glad to be a part of your journey. A line girl says, wow, what a deep analogy about the butterfly transformation. Deep stuff. I like it. Well, I'm glad you're here. Chris says, it's like the Wizard of Oz where Dorothy's hair changes length based on when that scene was filmed. You're absolutely true. I even told Joe, I was like, man, I have this appointment. The lady is available on Tuesday to get my hair done, but I don't think you've like edited all of the videos that we have in the tank to go out. So there's going to be some back and forth as far as like my hair, but hey, at least everybody can say like, did she make a good decision? Like, let's go look at the footage and see, <laughs> is it still good? Chris said, you better check yourself. Claire says, Chalk Zero does not like me. My CGM goes up like 50 points. Wow. Well, that is enough for me. Like, if that is what is happening, I would I would stay, steer clear of it. Okay, I put a new link in there. Okay. And make sure you don't use our coupon code. Just use the link. If, so if you're interested in the keto cat chat, in the keto crate, just use the link. Don't use our coupon code. Chris, Chris says, Joe's over there licking the counter. Exactly. Don't waste it. Oh, they're talking about like spilling the keto can't chow. Can't spill, waste spilled keto chow. You can't, can't do it. Pouring big bag of keto chow into container and you're going to have some spills. Yes. What is your technique for getting a big bag safely into the canister? Over the sink. Over the sink. And that helps it? And very slowly. Yeah, because it's very sticky when you get it on the counter and good like wiping it up. I, it's so funny because this is going to make me sound super dirty, but like, so Caleb's, one of his chores is to do the kitchen like right. every evening. And so, um, we had done some, you know, had some keto chow and I have white cabinets 
And so the white keto chow, because it was like vanilla, on the white cabinets, like it poofed, it did the poof, and it sticks. Like it will sticky to it. You're talking about the powder. Yes. And and Caleb was like, what did you do in here? And I'm like, I cleaned up. Like I cleaned up afterward. And he's like, really? And he's like scrubbing it down and showing me like all of the residue. And I'm like, ooh. Especially because it's white until yes. like raspberry cheesecake. It's white until, until you get it wet. Then and it's then the purple. coloring comes through. Yep. So Lisa says, I haven't had any keto chow yet, just the tomato basil, but so dying to try it. Well, that's awesome. Well, hopefully we'll have some giveaways and stuff soon and yeah. maybe you have a chance to try it. So, uh, Lori says, thank goodness it's not just me. I thought I was being OCD. <laughs> Kara says, yes, I do that. Always want every drop of butter. That's right. Chris says, I just do multiple batches in the same Pyrex dish, only the first one loses some butter. Oh, no, so we make Ooh. three at a time. So that's the ones you give to one the kids. A, three at a time, one and a half sticks per batch in a two-cup Pyrex. And then I rinse out that one with water into the blender. And so we don't miss any because we do three at a time. Even if we do 12, it gets rinsed every three. Oh, I love this. Okay, so now like we're- We're I'm, into video games. We're getting into the video game comments. Kara says, Red I Dead go on Walmart. Redemption 2. Matreya says, I love Red Dead Redemption. Have you played that? Red yes, Dead? I have. It's a good game. Is it a good game? Um, Claire Ooh. says, I have a Nintendo Switch like Animal Crossing and the Zelda games. Caleb bought himself. Look, it's in my cart. Okay. But when you hit check out, there's a problem. There's a Sorry, problem. Sorry, there's an error. Return to your cart. I don't think. Not Walmart. I don't Walmart. think it's a thing. I don't think they're in there. I don't think there is any. So Caleb got himself a Nintendo Switch and he was like, I'm just going to, he was honestly, I think he purchased it because he was too embarrassed to reach out and make it like a Christmas present because he thought I'm too mature for this but it is like one of his favorite things he's like the games on there he goes back and forth now and, he's back in the and you can play with other people yeah so uh Paul uh Sm Patty Smith says I put butter directly into my blender bottle on a scale and then add hot water I don't want to waste any butter in a cup in the microwave okay that is freaking brilliant all right we need to be thinking this way Oh, my mom is here. Hi. She says, hey, family. Emily says, oop, it just jumped. I told you. Did you you got to be careful. I, you and I'm going to do like the, the weird eyes. Uh, I can't. I'm trying to look for mom. We have we have so we are so far behind. There We're gonna we go. have to skip. Emily says, I didn't play Call of Duty, but I play EverQuest, World of Warcraft, and all of the Diablo games. I for what is the one that Caleb loves so much? Heartstone. Heartstone. Yeah. Heartstone. He loves that one. Liz says Call of Duties. Sorry. Uh, Chris said, speaking of eggs, how many eggs a day are the ladies producing? Uh four to six. I I, I want to say we average four to five a day. Sometimes we go out there and we have six, but there's always at least four. So we're getting out of six chickens. I feel like we're doing pretty good. So, so Sean is asking about like, do the chickens eat bugs? They absolutely love like the freeze dried um, mealworms, but then well, I they see don't even need that. Now. Miriam said that the chickens do like her chickens like eating bugs and her daughter Haley caught a spider in the basement and then took it out to the chickens to eat. Our kids do the same thing. They get so excited with all this rain, you get roaches. That's just a thing that happens. So they're, they're palmetto bugs. They're palmetto bugs. And so they will try to like seek some shelter. So they came in this week and the kids get so excited. They found two so far. They immediately take them out to the chickens and watch the chickens. Almost. One grabs it and then the rest chase them. And they have this high pitched squeal of like, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I mean, and run after each other. It's hilarious. Yep. Pat says, hey family, so excited to make it to a live. We're so glad you're here, Pat. Liz says, she said duties, I'm a kindergartner. No, I seriously, I have a middle school sense of humor is like where it, that's the maturity level that yeah. I ended up at. Um, Chris is saying, you're gonna die, spider. Serious. Um, uh, Miriam saying hi to my mom. Lori says, hey Pat. Matreya says, Resident Evil Fatal Frame was my favorite of all time. It's a good game. There's some of those choose your own ending type Anthony of games. Anthony loves Telltale games. Telltale games that Anthony really likes. To well, me, he has you play them. It's it's grueling. I mean, because I feel like no matter what, I'm giving them the wrong answer. It's like it's literally like, go. Do you want to go left or do you want to walk right? And I'm like, I don't know. What should I do? And Anthony's like, I can't tell you. You have to make the decision. And I'm like, I'm gonna end up killing somebody in this game because I I just took the left sidewalk. 
So uh, Caboodle says, we always uh, take the tomato horn worms to our chickens. It never ends well for the worms. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I should care about these you bugs keep more. You throwing stuff out there, like all this scratchy, like they need something to eat. And I'm like, they have dug up the, they are constantly, especially in the morning, they go out there and they find so many bugs. They just, I went out there earlier and cause in the evening we get more bugs. And Hannah had dug a hole uh -huh. so deep. She her whole body was inside of it, and all you could see her head. But she was just digging and digging and like pulling out worms and bugs and everything like that. Well, so and and we have no bugs. We have no grubs in our. Grass. You know what's interesting grass, is that when they find something, even though they don't want to share it, when they pull it out, they let every all the other ones yeah, know. Look what like I found, I found ah. something. I know it's like nanny nanny boo boo. That's it's not a good thing. I'm going to teach them to be better, kinder The chickens. problem is, is we've gotten way into eating eggs this week. So there is no more sharing eggs with anybody because we actually had three dozen and we're down to six. I blame Stephanie and James for this because they have been posting pictures of delicious omelets that have made me want nothing. Well, there's no omelets tomorrow. But delicious omelets because there's, they, it's been so beautiful and they have showed all of these different, like even leftover options, make an omelet. You got a little bit of taco meat, make a taco omelet. You got a little bit of lasagna, make like an Italian omelet. It's amazing. It looks so good. Are you going to scroll? Do you want to scroll? Yeah, yeah, Are scroll. you a faster scroller? Mimi said Black Friday sale from Walmart was a scam. I clicked on six items within a half hour and everything was out of Scott. I, scam, scam. I agree. I feel. I, it's, it's, and I, I really have become an Amazon guy. If you look at my Amazon statistics, it's ridiculous ridiculous how much I buy from Amazon, but I don't go shopping anywhere else anymore. I, I mean, just wanted the full size Yankee candles for $6. $6.88 is just such a great price on the full size Yankee candles. And it is, it's not, you click on it. It's $12 still. Yeah, it's, I just, I, I love I, Amazon. Everything comes within 48 hours for the most part, free shipping. I think it's a conspiracy to and keep me away from issues. making my house smell like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Linda said, yes, the PS5, the whole country, 3 million people trying at the same time. The same time. time. I don't understand these companies. Like, you knew there was going to be a high demand for it. You haven't had a new system in 10 years. It's like, make enough. I'm going to tell you Just right now. Just make enough. That my children have a 48-hour holiday that is their greatest, most favoritist holiday on earth. And that is the evening of December 25th on into the evening of December 26th, because that's when all of the newbies no. to the video games come on and they get to play them. It starts on Christmas Easy Eve. wins. And all four of us were like, do we really have to go to nannies for Christmas? What do you mean when you have to go to nannies for I don't want to go to nannies for Christmas. Why don't you want to go to nannies? Because we want to go beat up on the Christmas noobs because we all get the game the day it comes out. Like John Paul and I, we used to go up and before digital, yeah. we would go up at midnight and get the game. Anthony, go log on to my computer on Walmart and try to get the PS5. They re-released them. I'm serious. Like it's in my cart already. Keep hitting refresh. So I'm I'm So I would go up till midnight with him and we would get the game. So we're playing it the day it comes out. So by the time Christmas comes around, we're good at the game. So you want to beat up on all the people that don't know where all the spots are. Hey. So we don't want to do Christmas. Hey, we want to Christmas noobs. What about Jesus? Okay, this is supposed to be about Jesus, not beating up Christmas noobs, okay? You gotta beat up the Christmas noobs. Let's make it about Jesus. <laughs> He's the reason for the season, yo. And they're like, no, I need to I, I need to play my video games. Uh, Chris said, can we just give everyone Amazon gift cards and call it good? We will not do gift cards with our children. They will, They. will. What do you want for Christmas? Cash. No, you're not <laughs> getting cash. You're out of stock. I You're know. out of See, stock. I, it, it did the same thing. I hit refresh. It was gone. Can you turn the air down, please? They're, they're lying. They're lying. Yeah. So we don't do, with our children, no gift cards, no cash. Because cash, they're like us. Rachel's mom would be like, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, I'll take the cash. No. Because no. you're going to go pay your electric bill with it. Yeah. <laughs> they know. They, and our kids are just like us. Yeah. But I will Gift say. Gift cards, I just feel like I'm not giving them anything. There was an interesting crossover into adulthood when all of a sudden our boys found out how much underwear cost. Yes. Underwear and Civ Ventures. They did not realize growing up that it was not. Why like, is underwear so expensive? It wasn't a junky gift that you should just cast aside. You should be like, 
underwear, especially guy underwear. I mean, they're cotton. Why does guy eat these panties so expensive when there's nothing to it? Dun, 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 dun. Hello. Hi, everybody. So our, I said underwear too many times. Our computer completely crashed. And so now we are on our phone, which is why. I don't know why the color looks so bad. Though. Why Joe is sweating really badly and we look all weird and discolored. Normal. Oh, look, you can change it. Use that. Use that. We don't look quite so scary there. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna pull it up here. So. Can I give myself like a tan? That would be cool. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yay, you're back. Hi again, yes. I said underwear too many times apparently. And then it was so funny because it would say like, you're, you're live, but you're not. Hi. Uh, Christopher says, Sadie wants to know why Rachel Keto's saying guys underwear over and over. I am so sorry. I would like to apologize to all of the people who had to listen to me say guys underwear like a really ridiculous amount of time. Also, I really enjoyed the, the way that my face froze when well, we went it kept off. Like so I was like, looping. it's always like some it, kind it of gnarly looping. face. It's never a normal face. I, sometimes the internet is just like a pain in the neck. It right? is. It, it really is. Yes, they're asking, are you forgiven Anthony? No, he actually was like, I'm he, so he sorry. Got in the bath. He got in the he got in the bath. He he needs he needs the warm embrace of the water right now because I was like, hey, uh, we were sort of um, online and uh, your computer kicked us off. He was like, uh, I'm sorry, katana sword. Yeah. I mean, it's no big deal, but. He's well, we're going to have to do the Keto Crate giveaway. Yes. But I won't be able to show it up here now. Oh, okay. Well. I'm just going to have to pull it up. We can turn the camera to the thing, though. I can just look it up. They'll have to trust me. I pr we, won't, we won't be shady. I promise. So streaming from the phone now, huh? Yes. Ex yes. Like, it's, it's so glamorous. Let me see if I can actually get Joe in the shot, though. Can I got to pull up Pick a Winner. Hey! So we're, oh, we trust you. Thank you. Thank you. I promise like we, we're not trying to like, you know, if it does come up and it's like Anthony or Caleb win, then yeah, that was shady. Like that something's up with that. Hey, Renee is here. Oh, Renee, how much did I miss? Well, you, you missed a lot of me talking about men's underwear. It, it made no sense. Like, really. I guess what we'll do, cause people do like to rewatch it. We're going to have to like, I'm going to have to pull that down. Uh -huh. And then merge it into two and then re-upload it as a video. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. So there's like, are they restarting? Yeah, I just got a well, second. Well, for a little bit, yeah. I got a second cup of coffee, so everyone's screwed. Like, we could be here all night now. Like, Do you want to do the Keto Crate giveaway? Yes. Uh, okay. Let's do the Keto Crate giveaway. We can sort of, like, show there's there's the computer. Pick a winner. Pick a winner. Anything goes. There's 138, 138 comments. comments. And the winner is Tammy Pinzera. Tammy Pinzera. So we'll we'll send her a little message on Facebook on uh, Facebook on YouTube. And uh, she said we'd love to, I would love to try this month's keto crate. So Tammy, do us a favor, send us an email at two crazy ketos and uh, send us your mailing address. I need your shipping information and whatever email address you want. Congratulations. Chris is saying switch to the rear camera. <laughs> it should be on the rear, well it's. Oh, that's fun. I don't know how to do that. It's like when grandma tries to operate the camera. Hi. Oh, we have that monitor up there at least. Oh, there you go. I see, see that? that? It's not any better. There we are though. It's not any better. Oh, it's still. The other way looks better. I don't know. I don't know what looks better. <laughs> We're trying to teach mom how to use her iPhone and it can get really bad. Do you there want you your go. glasses just in case? Don't knock like it Like you over. need to see. Well, we're not gonna stay on long now. It, it really feels like I'm watching a newscast. <laughs> <laughs> and Bre you pulled up this thing with the color. Breaking news. We don't know what we're doing, okay? This is a hot mess of crazy, Oh, right? Chris is saying to show the screen, yeah. So. Sounds like the mic is on the side too. I don't know. On we're the side. Get off. Can we're you hear me more? <laughs> or can you hear Joe more? Say something, Joe. Dawn said I'm dizzy. I am so sorry, but this is what happens when you live stream. This is just. Yep. Krishana said 2KK's live stream sponsored by Dramamine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Everybody, 
You guys sound the same. Loving this, right? We're just a hot mess. It's just, just how we are. Uh, Renee says, how are you liking the hair, Rachel? Love it. I am loving it. First of all, Renee, like everybody, we're praying for Jolly. We're praying for her fur baby um, who's going through some medical issues. And so I just wanted you to know that I'm thinking about Jolly and, and definitely praying for just a full recovery and also for you during this season because it's really, it it hurts your heart when your fur babies are going through something. Like right. it, it really upsets you and it's just... You just want to know they're okay. Right. So uh, my mom just found out that her dog has a heart murmur. And I mean, she just like right in the doctor's office was just like, what am I going to do? Like, this is my best friend. Do you understand? This is my best friend. So it's just, it's a tough time, but we're thinking about you. And also I like, she had just done like a fresh shave on her hair and I thought you looked super cool with that. I really loved it. And I, I am loving it. But every single time I go to the bathroom now, I catch a glimpse in the mirror and I'm like, who's this in my bathroom? Like, and it's me, but I forget. Chris said, man, can you imagine what it'd be like to have technical problems during a live stream? So glad it's never happened to me. Chris, oh, wait. Chris and Miriam are so awesome. I just think they're way cooler when something goes wrong. Like we just get like sweaty armpits and like all, Joe gets like super sweaty on his head because there's no hair to conceal it. I get very upset. And he gets- Especially when I figure out that it's like something happened. He gets like a laser focus of like fixing stuff. I'm just like, oh, do I have enough time to go to the bathroom and like get some more coffee? Renee said, jelly situation is a hot mess. I'll type up what happened today. Uh, we may see an ortho. Tore lateral ligament in his toe. Oh my goodness, that baby. You're healthy as you said. I'm still waiting on unemployment that's owed to me since April. I wish I could get more than one. Trust me, once this all gets back to normal, I will totally order more than one. Wow, wow. Right family said our lizard babies are all spoiled rotten. It's Chris's fault, maybe Elizabeth's. I did not realize that the Wright family was a, a lizard family. I had forgotten that. And you guys had recently posted a picture of a lizard baby. And I was like, oh my gosh. But somehow, I have to say, theirs was really cute. Almost like it actually is so smiling. A lizard. No, they can have a lizard. But I didn't like scroll fast past seeing the lizard because their lizard was like very handsome. Resting mean face. I know, she's totally happy, but like you cannot, somebody tell her face. Does anybody want a cat? No. <laughs> Especially at night. She she is going through this thing of like, I wanna be in this room, but also I wanna be so out of this room. So she comes in our bedroom. Yeah. And then she lays on the bed. Mm -hmm. And then about 20 minutes later, she gets up and she goes to the cat, to the door. No, you can't go up there. She yeah. goes to the door and she starts pulling like from underneath the door and it's annoying. Yes. So you get up and you let her out. And then 20 minutes later, she comes back in. Oh, she says Kate wants our cat. And it goes back and forth. And it's all night long. All so night. Now we've started sleeping with the door open. But now the air doesn't get trapped in our room. So it gets hot. Sadie says, yes, tell them I want a cat. And then the, all of the other animals decide we're going to have a parade <laughs> all night. Christopher's like, but I don't, though. <laughs> I don't want that cat. Uh, Chris said, Kat, you'd have to move out if she got your cat. Yeah, because Chris is super allergic yeah. to cat hair. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Um, I also know that Steph, like, I feel like Steph and us, like, we should trade fur babies and see if we could, like, like, could we handle the the other fur babies crazy? Because, like, our, our fur babies drive us crazy and, like, her fur babies drive her wild. And it's like, yeah, like, maybe you need to go to Aunt Steph's house and then, like, her fur babies can go to, come to Aunt Rachel's house. Yesterday. Trade them for a minute. Or no, it was a Tuesday. We were filming a vlog and we go to the go to the door and the, and the chickens have come through the dog door. They've pushed over the thing that's blocking them from coming through the dog door. Right. They, they've come through and Grayson <laughs> has climbed off of his cage and he's standing at the door. Yes. Surrounded by chickens. Yes. And the dog is on the other side of the glass door and going like, look at these fools. And I, Grayson is looking at the chickens going like, hey. If we're all coming to the door, I'm coming to the door. Like, are we receiving something? And like, yes. I mean, I think that Grayson understands that some of me 
getting them back out to the chicken coop area once they come in because they just want to say hi right. like they're just like hey what's up mommy like we could we could handle a cuddle right now so i go out and cuddle them but i usually bring a treat of some sort so grayson's like oh so come to the door knock on the sliding glass door means get yourself a treat so he does it too now yeah so it's like i have these i have a bunch of businessmen like vacuum salesmen at my at my sliding glass door all birds saying like, hey, what's going on in there? I feel like we Renee need to- Renee said my meow at night, it. so I walk by them on their cat tree when they're trying to sleep and meow really loud. That Take seems, that. That seems fair. That seems absolutely fair, right? Like it, I, I, oh my gosh. You are, like we are sisters, seriously, because they will keep us up all night long. Roscoe, uh-oh, you're oh. live. Okay. We ignore the hurricanes going on. Like, it's we're, not really happening. I think we're going to get off because, yeah, I think the internet's going to keep... It, it's, like, raining outside and yeah. thundering and lightning. Don't you so. love when it freezes your face? It's like... <laughs> like that. Like, like it's so bad. Like, why did it wait for, for me to make a, an ugly face? Like... Uh, Lily Beck said, one of our three cats likes to bite when your back is turned. My husband bites back. Really? That's a good idea. Oh my gracious. No. So when in the morning when I'm up and they're just like napping in all of the cozy chairs, I will be like, no, I'd like to pet you right now. But it's not it's it's not nice of me to pet them because I'm totally just I'm scratching their head and scratching underneath. I but it's I'm doing it to wake them up because I'm like, you didn't give me sleep. So like you're getting petted. If you want to get petted, well, we're getting petted the right best is now. Roscoe, who lays on the foot of the bed, and then when you walk past, he smacks you. Like how dare you disturb the vicinity around me? He literally reaches out and smacks you. You should make choices, like not walking around where I sleep. Chris, if I pick my nose on a live stream, there is a ninety-eight percent possibility. Uh, probability that that will be the exact moment the stream freezes. It is like if there is a holiday party, there is a 110% chance that the photo of me at that holiday party will be of me putting food into my mouth with a fork or a spoon. One of the two. I can, I can do a million things, sit down for 50 seconds to like eat something. That is the photo. That is what is captured. Yeah. I, I this every every holiday at church at home everything it's this every live stream like that <laughs> Are you ready to get off before, no before but it's gonna buffer, choose it's gonna for me again. we don't want to do that either. it's gonna choose for me so okay we're gonna get off so for all of our hopefully everything gets fixed and the storm's gone we're gonna for all of our patrons we're gonna do a live stream on sunday at 6 p.m eastern time yes and then we will post the thing up for when we're gonna do Fear Factor Live. Now I did see, wait a second, I don't know if I can scroll. Lisa says, I'm having a hard time coming up with an ornament for the victory theme. Well, Lisa, one of them could just be a beautiful picture of you. That's right. Because you're the victory. So if you get a snapshot of you, glue it to a piece of construction paper, and I will put, I want that on my tree. I will be proud to post that on my tree. Cause that's victory to me. Okay, good night everybody. We love you.